Now, Joseph D'Angelo lived in a quiet Sacramento suburb, and neighbors cannot believe they live so close to this alleged killer. D'Angelo lived in a ranch house in Citrus Heights. One woman tweeted she freaked out when she heard D'Angelo live behind her for the past 20 years. One couple told the Los Angeles Times that they watched a documentary about D'Angelo just two weeks ago. They said if something so horrific can happen so close to you, anything goes. Now, Joseph D'Angelo is accused of committing a number of attacks in six cities in the Bay Area, Concord, Walnut Creek, Danville, San Ramon, Fremont, and San Jose. He may have been able to cover his tracks because of inside knowledge. Now, he was a police officer in two California cities for a total of six years. ABC 7 News reporter David Louie has those details and about the rape cases D'Angelo may be connected to. The story of suspect Joseph James D'Angelo is filled with contradiction. If the DNA evidence is irrefutable, D'Angelo may have used his experience in law enforcement to mask his alleged crimes. D'Angelo was a police officer in the small town of Exeter near Visalia from 1973 to 1976 and an officer in Auburn from 1976 until he was let go for alleged shoplifting in 1979. And that is surprising that somebody can compartmentalize their lives so well that they can be a police officer and one of the most notorious, notorious serial killers of all time. Keith Comas is co-author of a book about the East Area Rapist case and webmaster of a site that details each of the crimes possibly linked to D'Angelo. Investigators believe the accused serial killer could be responsible for three rape cases in the South Bay, two in San Jose and one in Fremont. We could not find anyone in these neighborhoods who were living here 40 years ago who might remember the impact the crimes had on their sense of safety. Police in both cities would not talk about their cold cases. The crimes occurred in 1978 and 79, which would coincide with D'Angelo working as an Auburn police officer. There seems to be a direct correlation between the rape crime stopping in Northern California and his dismissal from the police force, both of which happened in July 1979. So it's very possible that he was using his position or things that he had access to to help facilitate the commission of these crimes. Inside knowledge of police work may have worked in his favor. He'd offend in one area and he'd move. He'd offend in another area and he'd move. He took advantage of the lack of communication that existed between police departments and the lack of sharing leads. In San Jose, David Louie, ABC 7 News.